Uh, good morning, YouTube. Uh, this is a channel update. Way too early for that Higgs chromosome to space the electrons light. The magnetism of particles and momentum of receptors, radiation, are mathematical solution. Asteroid. What am I doing up? So, um, I haven't done any of the, these in a while, um, so I thought I'd do a quick update. There's several milestones have passed just recently. Um, I just hit my 400th episode for the channel. Uh, 400, not, not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> uh, remember in the past, I, I think I, when I was approaching my 100th episode, I thought, well, what if I did, you know, had a great idea for a cool episode and... I couldn't think of anything, and so I delayed the release of episode 100. Um, and so I said I I wouldn't do that anymore. So I don't remember what I did for 200 or 300, but for 400, just another regular topic. Although uh, episode 400 topic is is a good one, uh, fighting cancer. Um, there's high hopes with that. But so I thought I'd do uh, just a channel update. Uh, so 400 episodes. Um, what else? Uh, subs are now... I've got 148 subscribers. Uh, thanks to all of you for subscribing. Um, hey, if you wanna, if you wanna pimp me out, you can... If you wanna put your friends to sleep, you can tell them to subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm good at putting them to sleep. That's a service that I offer. Uh, no, um, yeah, I, I generally don't push for subs, but, uh, just because, you know, if you're gonna like the channel, you'll sub yourself. I don't. I don't need to push it. Um, Twenty-one thousand views. I guess I'm at twenty thousand nine hundred something other something other views. Uh, so close to twenty-one thousand views. Uh, you know, over over a three or four year span. I think I'm. I think I'm approaching three years or something. That's not a lot. <laughs> so my average isn't that great. But you know, I don't care. I do this for fun. So. Uh, it's, it's just, uh, it's interesting to see what numbers roll through, so. Um, that's it for channel. What other updates do I have? I've been watching a lot of anime. Uh, actually, I've been watching a lot of Netflix. Um, I've been rolling through each of the, uh, uh, Daredevil, uh, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist, each of those series. Um... I'm just about done with Luke Cage, and then I, I did them out of order. I watched Iron Fist first, which you're not supposed to do. You're supposed to watch Daredevil Season 1 first, Jessica Jones, Daredevil, Daredevil Season 2, and then Luke Cage, and then Iron Fist. Uh, so all those others I did in order, except Iron Fist I watched first, which was... Um, if you want to do it right, do it, do it right, because they do... They do impact each other. They're in the same, they're in the same city, basically. Uh, you know... And so it's kind of fun to see those linkages. And when they come out with the Defenders, with all four of them, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. That's supposed to be out in a few months here, I think. Um, House of Cards just released. <laughs> I'll jump in and watch that. Uh, I missed that show. Um, so I think I'll... I'll yeah, I'll binge on that. <laughs> um, what else? What else is there to say? Uh, garden. The garden's in. Uh, it's summertime. Um, but I haven't really been out there to see what's all going on. I just kind of, I let others, the joke is I'm a landowner because, you know, this is, this is my house and my property, but I let other people come in and, and plant their stuff. So, <laughs> like my friends and my family. Um, I still have hops out there, so that's always fun because those don't die. Uh, and so they're fun to guide along. I'll prune the hops back, even though I don't drink beer, so I don't really use the hops to make beer, um, but they're in my yard and they're fun to to guide, so guide along the along the, the strings that we have laid out. Um, pumpkins and squashes and lettuce and tomatoes and beans, your usual stuff here. Uh, you know, we're... <laughs> We're always we're always trying to grow citrus stuff, but I don't think it's ever hot enough. Um, there might be melons out there too, and I don't think it's hot enough for to get melons either. So, uh, so things are coming along in the garden. Uh, da, 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 da. So fitness uh, workout update. So 
I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to branch the channel out a little bit and start doing once a week fitness updates uh, on Thursdays. So my, uh, my weight training is Sunday night, Monday night, Wednesday night. And so by Thursday morning, I've done a week uh, a week set of all my my weights and I think I'll do a report out Thursday mornings on that um, just to dive in a little further on, on what I'm doing what changes I've noticed in the week um, I'll talk about uh, my my weight increases um, tracking my thousand pound club uh, numbers and anything else that I want to you know gibber about when it comes to fitness but I think I'll do a separate whole episode and I, I'm doing enough with fitness that I think I will do that once a week. We'll see how it goes. I, I don't know. Um, what else? What else is there talking about? Gaming. Uh, da, 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 da. You know, I, I do like video games and I'm, I'm really into the whole Blizzard thing right now. Blizzard has been doing a lot of great stuff with their video games. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, with Diablo 3, they're about to release their Necromancer pack. Uh, Everyone's been anticipating that with, you know, they've, they've been holding their breath for this one because it, it is supposed to be really cool. When you, if you ever play Necromancer in Diablo 2, it was one of the greater, one of the better races to play. Um, some of the abilities that it had was, was pretty awesome. And so they, with some of the teaser releases that they have with the abilities of Diablo 3 Necromancer, uh, it looks pretty good. I think a lot of people are excited about it. Um, they've done a lot of play testing. They've done a lot of... Uh, asking the community um you know there are opinions about certain things with necromancer uh it should be a lot of fun it, so i say they might release soon it, most people think they'll release with the next season and the next season isn't going to be out for another month or two we think and and so uh so it is still a ways away but it, it's something that that we're eager for it, it will be a uh, what's that called? DLC downloadable content that you'll pay for. Uh, not quite an expansion, but there is quite a few. See, so you'll if you if you get the Necromancer pack that you pay for, you'll get the Re Necromancer. Uh, you'll get three more stash tabs, I think. You'll get a specific pet um, uh, with that pack and a banner too, I think, and a couple of things. I don't remember what, but. Um, so yeah, that, that should be a lot of fun. Uh, Heroes of the Storm has been a lot of fun. There, Heroes of the Storm is in the middle of its second anniversary special event right now. So if you if you log in every day and play one game from now till June, uh, I want to say like 12 or something like that. So there's another week and a half. Uh, then if you do that and play one game, you get uh, a loot pack uh, every day. So um, if you play one game every day, you get a loot pack every day until that June 15th or so. Uh, so that, that's a fun little uh, giveaway that they're doing, which is nice. If you play three games in this times until June 15th, you get um, uh, a special second year anniversary portrait, a second year anniversary um, banner, and a second year anniversary uh, spray. Uh, and they continue to release new heroes, uh, and it's completely free. You don't have to put any money into it. Um, and so it, it is a lot of fun. It's, it's kind of fun to see how this game evolves. Uh, sometimes it's fun to look at the, the pro league for Heroes of the Storm. They, they're in the middle of their, uh, they're about to start their mid-season brawl. You know, their schedule, the, the Heroes League schedule, is so complex, it's fun to keep track of. <laughs> uh, it almost feels like you're watching professional soccer as far as the schedule goes. Uh, and, you know, the, the tournaments and the, the divisions and how they stack up and what they're keeping track of. And uh, it's fun to just look at, even if you don't watch them play, just to look at their stats and their numbers and... The, the play is kind of good, too. If, if you play this game and you want to see how professionals play it, uh, they're on Twitch. They have, you know, Heroes, Heroes of the Storm has their own Twitch channel. And on Saturdays and Sundays, you can watch these pro games on Twitch for free. It's, it's kind of amazing. Um, okay, what else? What other games? Those are really the only two games that I play these days. Um... Yeah, I, you know, w with all the workout stuff and, and work itself, and then I am trying to branch out into activities, it's, it's, uh, and then, you know, I'm sitting my, 
my face in front of a TV to watch Netflix. It, I don't have much time for video games, but um, every now and then it's it's fun to get get into that. So, uh, what else do I want to say? What else is there to update? I think, like I said, I'll continue to do three episodes a week for the channel. I'll try this fourth fitness update episode a week. See how that works. Um, news continues to to be. Uh, flowing. <laughs> There's always some, some crazy tech stuff. Um, I don't feel too burnt out, so I think doing the three episodes a week is a good balance. Uh, if you recall, doing five a week was just way too much. With the fitness one, there's no, there's really no research in that. I'm just talking about my, my exercising. So it's still just three tech topics a week, which is uh, fairly easy to do, fairly easy to come up with, to come up with three topics that I'm interested in. Uh, there... There's tons of tech news out there, but a lot of times I'm not interested in some of these things, so uh, I try not to push it. But All right, that's enough update, I think. Um, yeah, I gotta get out of here, and you're gonna go do whatever it is you do. Uh, we'll talk to you next time.